Hi there, this is using um, the Sharp EL531 um, for statistics. I'm going to run through a few ways that you can use this calculator. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to clear the memory. Now this is very important because every time you do um, some work with statistics, you'll need to clear the memory um, so that those statistics from a previous question don't affect your next question. So the two buttons you'll need to be aware of are the second F and the alpha key to do this. So we press second F and then the alpha key and we get the option here memory zero or reset is one. We're going to clear the memory and so we press zero, clear memory zero. And that's the memory cleared. Um, the next thing we're going to do is actually see how we change between being in statistics mode and normal mode. And for this we need the mode key um, and so when I press mode I get my two options, either normal mode, which is the calculator as it is as a normal calculating instrument, or statistics, which is pressing 1. Now if we want to go to normal, of course we press 0, and if we want to go to statistics mode 1, we get lots of different options, but the option we want is 0, which is the standard deviation mode, and so we press 0 again. Stat 0 indicates that you're in the statistics mode of standard deviation, and we're ready to go. So if we want to change back, we press mode, normal, and we're back out of statistics mode. But we want to be in statistics mode, so we can do the next couple of examples. So mode, stat, 1, and then SD, 0, and we're at stat naught. Now I'm going to show you how to enter some scores into the calculator. And I've got um, two examples. This first example is just inputting individual single scores into your calculator. So to do this what you'll need is obviously the numbers to enter those scores in as well as the M plus button which is located just here on the right hand side it's in green. So we're going to put in the score 2 and then M plus and you'll notice it says data set equals 1 so it's indicating you've entered one piece of data. So we'll put in the other scores 3 3 and then M plus, data set equals 2, 5, M plus, 6, M plus, 7, M plus, 10, M plus. We've entered 6 scores, it tells us we've got 6 scores in there and we're ready to calculate with them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the mean, the sample standard deviation and the standard deviation. And each of these is located on the keys 4. Above the key 4, you see a little X with a line. Above the key 5, you see a little green SX. And above the, green, uh, above the key 6, we see a little green deviation X. So to find the mean, we're going to press alpha and then 4 equals. And we get the mean of 5.5. For the sample standard deviation, we press alpha and then 5 equals, and we get the sample standard deviation of 2.88. And then for the sample, for the um, population standard deviation, we press alpha and then 6 equals, and we get 2.63. For the second example, what I'm going to show you is how to input information from a frequency distribution table. So instead of entering 7 4 times and 8 5 times and so on and pressing all of these keys, I'll show you how you can compact that down. First thing we'll do is we'll clear the memory. So we're going to press second F alpha 0 0 and so we're back again with a cleared memory. Now to do this we're going to need to use our numbers to enter the scores. But this time we'll be using the STO key as well as the M plus button. And what the STO key allows you to do is enter um, lots of scores in one go. So we're going to enter seven four times. So we press seven, STO, four, M plus. Now it says that there's a data set of one. Even though we've just inputted four scores, it's indicating that we have inputted the data set of 7. We're going to put 8 in 5 times, STO 5, M plus, 
9, STO 3, M plus, 10, STO 7, M plus, 11, STO 9, M plus, and 12, STO 6, M plus. Now just to show you that we have actually entered more than six numbers, we've actually entered into the calculator many more numbers. I'm going to show you down here on the zero key, above the zero key you see the little letter N. If I go alpha zero, it will tell me how many numbers are actually in the memory. And it tells me that there are actually 34 numbers in the memory which is 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12, 19, 28, 34. So there's the 34 scores I'll put in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the mean of these scores. So remember, that's above the 4 key. Alpha 4 equals 9.88. The sample standard deviation, alpha 5 equals 1.67 and the um, population standard deviation alpha 6 equals and we get the answer 1.64 we'll clear the memory second if alpha 0 0 and we'll go back to normal mode mode 0 and our calculators back ready for other work thank you